You can't really ask for much more than that. United 5, Bruges nil 6-1 on aggregate through to the round of 16. Bruno Fernandes again, sensational. I'll talk about him. Egalo getting his first goal for United. McTominay getting a goal on his first start since Boxing Day, I think. And a double from Fred. Happy days. All round. That game tonight, you know, given how tricky it was out in Bruges, it could have been the same, but I can't remember the name of the guy. But he decided to step in front of Minilay and try and be goalkeeper. Flew his arm out. Definite penalty. Bruno stepped up. Love his penalty technique. But I want to talk about Bruno. You can't not talk about Bruno. For me, probably man of the match again today, although maybe you give that to Fred now that he scored too late on. But Bruno, it's ridiculous how much of an impact he's had so far. And in each game, it seems to be getting bigger and better. Uh, and I've heard comparisons... Uh, with Eric Cantona, and not in the fact that he's the quality of Eric Cantona, but in the fact that he came into a team and lifted the team around him. And that's what Bruno is doing to this team. We were, at, at, as an attacking force, very lifeless. Creativity, very just insignificant before Bruno came along. And all of a sudden, we're scoring eight goals in two games. I and mean, we're not just scoring tap-ins either. That goal there for Igalo's first goal, in the United shirt, which would have meant so much to him on his first start, Old Trafford as well, was wonderful from Bruno. His footwork and his trickery on the edge of the box and the intelligence to definitely chip the ball over to Mata. And then Mata's pass back, Igalo's there in the right spot. Martial and Rashford wouldn't have been in that position, I don't think. They're the sorts of goals that Igalo will be scoring for United this season. And I'm delighted for him. And I'm not really sure which goal I want to celebrate more. Bruno scoring again, Igalo getting his first, my guy Scott McTominay coming back into the team and scoring, very very accomplished calm finish with a side foot that somehow curled back in towards the bottom corner and then Fred scoring too, you know fair play to Jesse Lingard cutting it back for his first one and then another cracking finish, Fred has just improved so much this season and another clean sheet, you know it's a really really good great night all round for United. And yes, it's only Bruges, but it was only Bruges last week when we struggled to a one-all draw in Belgium. And now we're into the round of 16. But Bruno, man, oh, Jesus, he's a good footballer, isn't he? He's showing United fans what we've been starved of for so long. Just It's his. It's not just his goals and his assists, is it? You watch him play, it's his... He lets the ball run at his foot and it runs off his foot, he immediately turns, why matter? I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to put him in the Anthony Martial category of players that are improving massively because Bruno's in that team. Mata is a player who loves one-touch football, quick movement. That's the play that he can do it with. And tonight, Mata was fantastic. Every man to a tee was fantastic. Now, apart from Romero, who for some reason has saved all of his career mistakes, for Bruges, but it didn't really lead to a goal, so I can't really say too much. But I'm just, I'm overwhelmed by how consistently brilliant Bruno Fernandes is in every single game at this early stage of his United career. We all wanted him to come and make a positive impact, but the impact has been so far beyond what I thought it could have been that the expectation now is that it can only get bigger and better and that players will continue to respond of having a player of his quality and calibre alongside them. And Bruno Fernandes, what a signing he is. And we all know that this should have happened in the summer and that maybe this season would have been completely and utterly different had we playing, been playing with Bruno all along. But it really is a case of better late than never. And the fact that he is in this team now, the fact that Igalo's come in in January and we're scoring goals, we're a completely different shape and completely different looking United team going into this last few months of the season. And we can still win the Europa League. We can still get into the top four. Still in the FA Cup. You know, there's still plenty to go for this season. And I think United, why can't we do it all? I think we're, we look in very, very good shape now. And I can't stop waxing lyrical about Bruno. You know, I can't. I just can't. And it's, I think it's because I, we just haven't seen... I suppose Paul Pogba is someone that you could compare it to, but Pogba, 
apart from that three month period, was a player who did fleet into some games and disappear in others. But Bruno so far has been the centre of attention in every single match he's played. And tonight he got the penalty that got the game started. He was instrumental in Igalo's goal. Then Scott McTominay popped up. And Bruno went off to a stand innovation. And we still got another couple of goals, thanks to Fred. Fred deserves a lot of credit for how much better he has been this season. And that midfield three for me, of Fred McTominay and Bruno Fernandes, should be the midfield three that we have, no matter how good Matic has been in McTominay's absence. Matomane comes straight back into this team because for me he offers so much more and it's the energy which is crucial to have why he's a better option in midfield. But United there, 5-0, 6-1 on aggregate. Happy days. Who's your man of the match? Is it Bruno again or does it go to Fred for getting two goals? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But United just scored five. You've got to be happy with that.